While the game kicks off on the field, Luther King breaks it all down in the press box. If you don't have the love for it, I don't know what to tell you. We'll start. When it comes to broadcasting live high school football games like this one, pitting Maplewood against Liberty Creek, Luther has been at it for over a decade. I'm only the kind to win the soundtrack. Those kids on the field are doing the, they're doing the dirty work. But there's one thing that sets him apart from these other play callers. Luther is blind. As you see, yeah. <clears throat> this is one of the big differences. While Braille helps him prepare beforehand, you may be wondering, how does someone without sight see the plays? When you can't see it, you have to have somebody in your ear. You can't see it, so you have to have an extra pair of eyes. Right? That extra pair of eyes is a spotter who tells Luther details he then relays into his broadcast. They tell me what the formations are, where the receivers are, where the quarterback is. Are we in shotgun? Is he under center? And we go from there. And that brand new soundboard at his fingertips. It was Luther had a backpack full of gear and like random cable. He's a good pair of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to his new friend Ben Sabin and a GoFundMe, Luther got updated equipment this month, all of which sets him up for success. He doesn't see the obstacles. It's he's always looking for a solution. Opens and Despite an uphill battle, Luther says he doesn't let his challenges define who he is. Why should it? Why should it? In fact, he hopes his broadcasting takes him to the college or NFL level one day. He's just showing up and doing what he loves and cares about. And scores first. Nikki Hauser, News Channel 5.